Russell, talk to me. This is a lovely day celebrating cinema, women in film in the spotlight for TIFF, Toronto International Film Festival. How does it make you feel in partnership, collaborating with TIFF, putting women in film? How does it well, make you feel? We are collaborating with TIFF. We are collaborating with the Telefilm Canada. Uh -huh. And now it's uh, seven years in a row that Burks is present at the TIFF to support the Canadian talent in film through Canadian women in film. And, uh, you know, we are the Canadian jeweler. Uh, of course, and, theref jeweler. and therefore, <laughs> we want to please women, we want to celebrate women. And here, the position we have is to celebrate women's talent mm -hmm. and creativity in the film industry. That's lovely. Okay, I want to know, uh, out of everything, because you're, you're Quebecois, right? Like, you know, we have an amazing talent here in Canada, right here in our backyard. Who's your favorite actress of all time? Oh my God, this is so difficult. Okay, fine. Love, it could be it could I be an American actress. Have, fine, fine. Yes, I, I, I <laughs> like uh, Sarah Gaydon. She's okay. our, our uh, host today. Um, I had the pleasure to actually give her the first, the very first diamond tribute to Canadian women in film, and that was given to Sarah. And so, uh, for me, it's very special to have her today with us. All right, so here at Spotlight TV, we're playing this game called Rapid Fire Questions, okay? Three questions you got to answer very quick. Favorite restaurant across Canada? What's your favorite restaurant? Le Mousseau in Montreal. Pourquoi? Why? Elaborate. Oh, creativity, uh, thinking out of the box, um, and, and, uh, and surprise all the time, surprise in every plate. I love it. Favorite hotspot across Canada? What's your favorite hotspot to, to vacation? You know, Muskoka, Vancouver Island, uh, Vancouver. I have two. Can I have two? Yeah, of Eastern course. Townships. Why? Can you uh, tell us why? Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> it just feels like heaven. And I must say that my first visit to Lake Louise was was uh, just uh, fabulous. Of course. Our friends here in Alberta, they're pretty pretty good. <laughs> they go big or go home. Okay. I want to know. Favorite car? Land Rover, Mustang, or Mercedes-Benz? What do you love? English cars. Why? Because they are cool. They're quirky. And uh, I spent 10 years of my life in England, uh, whether it's Land Rover, uh, whether it's Aston Martin. Uh, Royce, Royce, why okay. not, you know? Now we're going to come back to Diamonds. I want to know a little more because you're Burks, okay? What's happening in the next collection? Because I understand word on the street. There's so many cool, cool designers and lovely jewelry and beautiful carrettes and beautiful yellow diamonds and red rubies and everything. What's happening for you guys coming up? Well, a lot is happening. We are, we are uh, you know, very, we've been very creative over the last few years. We are, uh, you know, on the path to totally rejuvenate uh, Burks. And uh, we can tell when we see now a young, fresh, active uh, women wearing Burks, not just their mothers or grandmothers. The blue box, um, the Burks blue box is uh, still an icon in the, in the Canadian mindset. It's absolutely amazing for me who doesn't come originally from Canada. I'm now Canadian and oh, proud you're Canadian, to Canadian, you're Canadian. We made you Canadian. But <laughs> the impact of the Burks blue box uh, before, even before, uh, uh, people open it. It's just fabulous. And now we are very privileged because we, as a Canadian jeweler, we are lucky to uh, work in a country, our country of origin, where we have diamonds. They are, the Canadian diamonds are part of the Burke's uh, um, you know, value proposition today. And not many jewelers in the world are lucky enough to come from a country that produce diamonds. Absolutely. Best. We cover the best in entertainment news and we also have the best diamonds in Canada, in Yellowknife especially. Don't go anywhere. We got the best in entertainment news. No te pierdas.